Welcome to the Empowered Podcast with Deanna Merlino, a personal development show where I will be sharing with you just how to transform yourself into the best version of you, both inside and out. From fitness and nutrition to business and positive mindset work, I'll be showing you exactly how to live your best life. I'll be keeping it as real and raw as it gets. So get ready to peel back the layers and really transform yourself under the surface because nothing is better than finding your purpose and living this life as your true, authentic self. So I have a really fun addition to utilize as a source that I would love for you guys to do at the start of your day, every single day, to just keep you on track, help you with your goals, really get you into a positive mindset every single morning, because what we do in the morning is how we are going to shape our entire day. I have this fancy little sheet that I'm calling Day by Design, and it's an editable PDF that you're going to be able to fill out even as your day goes on if you need to. Some of it is meant to be for you to do as your day goes on. And some of the things that are in there are going to be the mood that you're feeling for the day, tracking your exercise, your water intake, and your meals, You're going to write what you're grateful for, your schedule, your goals, your get to do list, because I don't like to say to do list or have to do a money tracker and just keeping everything in one place for what you need to do today, tomorrow and for all the days so that you can make sure that you stay on track and have the best day that you can. So in order for you guys to get this, I'm going to have you go to my website, which is www.deannamerlinofit.com. And you're going to get asked to sign up for a newsletter that you will then get this in exchange for free. So super easy. You don't have to do anything but sign up. And after that, you'll get a quick little welcome letter. And then once a month, I will send out a newsletter that is going to keep you guys up to date with me. So you can just get to see the ins and outs of what's going on in the life of Deanna Merlino and the Empowered Podcast. Can't wait for you guys to utilize this. And just can't wait to see you guys sharing it on social media as well hitting your goals, helping others do it as well. Please take advantage of this. It will definitely be fun for everyone involved. Welcome back, everybody. It is the first Monday of February. That flew by. How did we get here? And honestly, this is just such a great reflection point. Are you happy with everything you have done so far this year? Or do you know deep down in your heart that you could be giving a little more? Whatever the answer to that question for yourself is, do not give up on yourself and just keep pushing for the better. I don't want to say for better or for worse, just for the better. Um, But you conquered January. We made it through. And we are now on week six of the Empowered Challenge. Be so proud of yourself. I just feel amazing. I know that you guys are too. I'm so happy to be doing this together with you guys and just building such an amazing community. I am so grateful each for each and every one of you. So last week, we talked about how to get out of a funk. And this week, we are going to cover how to realize your dream occupation. So today is going to be fun um, because I get to do what I've always dreamed of doing, I want to make sure that you get to do that too because life is limited. Life is short. The only thing that's guaranteed here is that we all aren't making it out alive. So you should enjoy what you're doing with every moment of time that we have left here. So I am going to do a list. All my list friends, if you haven't realized yet, I love to keep track of lists. But the first one is going to be, what are you good at? So this is a really good way of figuring out, um, you know, what you should be doing is a great place to start is just where, what are you good at? What are your strengths? There is nothing that we can't learn or even nothing that we can't unlearn, honestly, if we need to. Not all qualities are good things. But the best place to start is to just ask yourself, what am I good at? Maybe you're a really good people person or you're really good. I have a friend of mine right now. Literally, she could talk to a tree if she wanted to. Like She just runs up to people and makes new friends. And I'm staring at her like, how did you do that? Like, Why did you do that? (laughs) So maybe that's something that you love to do. Maybe you are um, really great at 
um, helping other people, or maybe you're really artsy and crafty and you're good at making things. There is so much stuff that you can do with all these different qualities. And if you have no idea what you could do, a great place to search is just honestly Google. I Google everything. Um, there's always a way to figure out how to make a income off of something that you're good at. And I want you to focus on your strengths, not your weaknesses, because it doesn't matter what you're not good at or what you think that you're not good at because it can be improved. I will never forget the very first time that I talked to a group of people about my health and wellness business. I literally was so terrified. That was the biggest reason why I didn't want to do it was because I didn't like talking to people. I just get really anxious for some reason. Like I am such a people person. If I'm in my element, if I know people, I'm not good at like meeting new people right off the bat. My first response is to run. (laughs) So I'm talking to these people. I'm panicking so hard that I literally cut the conversation short on what I wanted to say. I say, thank you for your time. I leave. I get in my car. I am bawling my eyes out. I swore I would never do it again. I actually think I ignored my business for at least two weeks, to be completely honest. And then I was like, you know what? This is this is a defining moment for me. I'm not going to run from it. I'm going to run at it. And I've never looked back. Like Now I don't consider a weakness of mine anymore talking to people. I mean, again, here I am right now. This is just... You know, a couple of years ago, I never would have fathomed that I could ever do something like this. So focus on your strengths, not on your weaknesses. Um, the next thing is to talk to your group, whether that's your friends, your significant other, your family, and ask them what they think that you're good at or some of your strengths. It's so easy for us sometimes to just, you know, not realize what we're good at. We're so used to staring at our own stuff all the time that we are in our own head and don't see our qualities. So it's a really good idea to talk to the people that you know are going to be honest with you and who love you and want the best for you. And they're probably going to tell you something that you didn't realize that you were so good at. Like it's, I always think it's so interesting if I've ever had that conversation with someone. One of the things they say is how funny I am. I wouldn't consider myself a funny person. So that's always a great pick me up. And also it just, it's nice to hear things come from other people when you might not see it yourself. So I know I had mentioned that I recently found out through my human design um, that I'm a projector, which if you guys are interested in learning more about that, you can literally just Google what is my human design and um, websites will pop up. There are plenty of free ones, so you don't have to pay for anything, but it will tell you more about yourself and your strengths and your weaknesses, which is super helpful in navigating just our crazy lives. And Um, One of the things that it said is that I do best at making decisions by using people as my sounding board. So I, without even realizing it, have always done that. So it's nice that that was so accurate. But I have to talk to my group of friends and my husband and say, I'm thinking of doing this or this happened and what should I do next? And like you're going to open up a conversation. So you're not technically telling them are looking for them to tell you what to do. But through that conversation, you're going to be able to draw out what you actually want subconsciously. Like for example, this is just a silly one. The other day I was making this like egg cup and I was being indecisive and I was like, babe, what, which one should I pick? And he picked one for me and I was like, okay. And then I read it again. And I was like, you know what? I actually don't want that one. I actually want this one instead. So that is a just great way that you're going to figure out through just opening that conversation, what is going to be the direction that you would like to go next and really figuring out something that might look like a good prospect for you. Okay. So number three is what was a no-go in your past jobs? What is a non-negotiable for your happiness? So for me, I did not want a boss. Like it just, I told you guys, I've had every job you could imagine. I mean, grocery store, coffee shop. I bartended for, I don't know, at least eight years, which was actually fun. Um, But just all the different things. I did housekeeping, all the things. And it didn't matter what I did, whether strictly because I felt like I had to, or even when I thought that I had found something that I really enjoyed, it all boiled down to, I cannot have a boss. And it was hard for me to 
be in a workplace setting. Also, because I cannot be around negative people. I am an empath. I feel people's energies, their emotions. So whatever they're feeling, I feel it very deeply. So if that's good, that's amazing. If that's bad, you're literally sucking the life out of me and you can't control what other people are doing. So all you can control is the situations that you put yourself in. So I didn't want a boss. I don't like negative people. And my number one thing as well is that I could not stand working hard and feeling underappreciated. Like when you have a regular job, when I was working in corporate America, I was doing a million things for my boss. I was relied on very heavily to do all the things and I'm totally okay with that. But like, hey, a compliment every once in a while, like you're doing great and even better, give me a pay raise. And like, if you ask me to do a new job, pay me for that, right? So just all those things. So when you're really thinking about what you don't want, then you're going to be able to figure out what it is that you do want, which is going to get you one step closer to figuring out what it is that is going to light your, your soul on fire when it comes to working your daily job. Next thing is, and these these are like rolling right into the next one, is consider what work environment that you need. For me, I knew that I wanted to make my own schedule, work from wherever I want, and whenever I want. I love nothing more than to when it is feasible with the baby and our schedule. Instead of working from home, I like to like drive to the nearest local coffee shop, hang out, have myself my um, iced chai latte and just work comfortably. You know, I can do that when I want and where I want. And that isn't something that I got to do when you have to clock in and your boss is telling you what to wear, when to work, how long to work. And it just, it didn't work for me. So these are all just ideas for you to figure out what is working for you and what isn't working for you. I think sometimes we're so focused on like having our means met that we will just do what we have to do and think that that's how life goes. That's how you get by. You can find something that makes you happy and also learn how to make a living from it. Even if temporarily it's just a a side gig or whatnot, you can build it into whatever your little heart desires. Next up is do what makes you happy even if you don't know what you want to do for a job as yet. So for example, I just want to travel. That's all I want to do. I mean, the world is kind of not allowing that right now, but this is temporary. That's what I'm telling myself. And when things get back to normal, I want to travel to every warm, sunny, beachy paradise that is that there is available. My mom's from the Cayman Islands. I think I told you guys that before. We have a house there. I have a ton of family there. Like I want to go home and visit. I want to sit and bake in the sun and just just take it all in. So I was actually listening to a podcast uh, quite a while back. I, to be honest, couldn't tell you what the podcast was. It was like a random recommendation. And I just happened to start listening to it. And the girl was talking about how she knew that she wasn't happy in her nine to five and that she just wanted to travel and she didn't know what she was going to do or how to do it. But she decided to just she was like, she gave herself a date. She said, I'm going to work for this long, save all the money that I can, and then I'm going to quit and then I'll figure it out. So that's what she did. And she hadn't figured it out yet, but she still decided to quit said she was going to travel the world, which she did. And what ended up happening was she would like go to one city, meet some people, and she would like barter to stay with them. And she would find other people who are doing the same thing, which plugged her into this network of like pretty much like couch hopping around the world, which sounds kind of scary, but also really cool. Good for you. And before she knew it, she ended up creating a whole company and a business out of being like a travel blogger. And she lives happily ever after traveling the world and getting paid to do it. Like that's what I'm talking about right there. So these are the things that I want you to be able to do. And then last thing that I'm going to bring up is what did you love to do as a child? I lived to paint. Like I even had this fancy artist name. Her name was Brittany. Like I thought that was the fanciest name ever. And when I painted that, I'd put on that persona. And 
I love to sing. I still love to sing. I sing in the shower. I sing in the car. It makes me happy. These are the ways that I artistically express myself. And I think when we're kids, like this world is just this magical place and we get to be whoever we want and do whatever we do. And just from societal norms and pressures and our parents and bills and life, we end up just forgetting that magic. And it's just it just seems like it's not there anymore. And then before you know it, you're 30 and you're working that nine to five that you hate and then you're just you're just miserable. That magic is still there. We just have to choose to acknowledge it. And I think when you go back to doing the things that make you happy and the things that make you feel alive, maybe you're not going to make like I know that I'm not going to make a life out of being an artist, but I'm going to find happiness and peace in that. And that is when you're happy and when you raise your vibrations and you are just reflecting at this higher energy, you're going to start attracting same things on that same energy wavelength that are positive and happy. And you'll find the thing that is right for you. You'll end up finding in that good feeling what it is that sets you on fire and what you want to do with the rest of your life. And let me just say, if you feel like you missed your chance or you're too old or you're too stuck or you don't know how to get out, that is a lie. Please stop telling yourself that right now. Like I'm yelling at you. Stop that right now. It is never too late to reinvent yourself. There is no better time than right now to start doing whatever it is that sets your heart on fire. God places something in our heart. Your dreams are there for a reason. You were meant to succeed them, even if they're because of fear and your ego, this quiet little meek voice in the back. Embrace it, listen to it, acknowledge it, and start letting it speak louder and louder because if it's in your heart, it's for a reason. And that means there's a way for you to make it come true. I was reading a um, just an article and it was essentially saying that I saw a bunch of different numbers, so I'm just going to pick one that I read. But it said that 85% of people in America are unhappy with their their typical job. This is in 2019. 85% of people. That is astronomical. That's really sad that that many people are, are unhappy. And I don't know about you, but I'm sorry if being normal is working a miserable nine to five to get by, then I don't want to be normal. I'm happy not being normal. Start thinking outside of the box for things you can do if you're feeling trapped. So I am just going to say this because if I, I just, I'm so grateful for what I get to do and I get to choose happy and I want you guys to choose happy too. So if you are interested in or looking for a side hustle, this is your sign to start to know that there other are other options out there. We've been working these last few weeks on building your confidence and you're capable of adding something new into your routine at this point. When you do too much at one time, it's it can be overwhelming and you're more prone to failing. Nah, not now. You have built yourself up. Now is a great time. If you are looking for extra money and building time and financial freedom, then I truly think we should talk. There's something so empowering about getting paid based on your work ethic. Like you are getting out of it what you put into it, no more, no less. You don't have to put in a bunch of work and know that you're not going to be valued for it. You're in control of your paycheck. If you want to help others, even if you feel like maybe you don't have the experience in that arena or you think, I am nothing like you. I don't have these certifications. I am not in a in a fitness background. I'm not in a health background. I haven't worked in 20 years. I don't know what your situation looks like. I would still love to just open that conversation and have it with you and see if what I do possibly is a fit for you because truly everyone can do this business. And I would love to coach you in your business and growing your dream life. Because I don't want to be doing it alone. I want to be doing it with you guys. Okay. So this week's challenge, after all the things that we talked about, is to find what you did as a child that brought you joy and do that this week. I already know what I'm going to do. I want to get myself one of those adult coloring books. And every day at the end of the day, 
maybe if I have time during throughout the day, depending on how I'm feeling and how it's going, I'm going to draw in that adult coloring book because I know that that is going to bring me peace and happiness and evoke all those feelings that I want you guys to be feeling. So can't wait to see what you decide to do this week that you did as a child. I would love to know what weird stuff you guys were into um, in comparison to who we are now. Have a blast being a kid again. Just soak in the magic. Go back to pretending because you can pretend. I'm telling you, even though the world told you no, I'm telling you, yes, go pretend. Everyone have a fantastic week. Have the best day. And I can't wait to see you back here again next Monday. So much love. Take care. Thank you guys so much for listening to today's episode. If you want to find out more, you can follow me on Instagram at Empowered with Deanna and my personal page, Fit Deanna Lolita. You can also visit me on my website, which is DeannaMerlinoFit.com. Make sure that whatever platform you guys are listening on, please rate and subscribe. And this means so much to me. It's going to help get me out there to help so many other people. I'm so grateful that you're here with me on this journey of wellness and self-empowerment. I cannot promise that it will always be easy, but I do know that it will always be worth it. Stick with me and together, let's start living as the version of us that we were meant to be because the world is waiting for your gifts and you deserve to live the life of your wildest dreams and beyond. So friends, let's get empowered.